Okay, folks, here we go with Papa's House, episode three, entitled Podcast. Now, this episode was pretty solid due to the fact that it really encompassed a lot of elements that truly, truly made this episode relevant. I mean, from like Me Too, you know, um, dealing with uh, human resources, AI, uh, podcast. This was a great episode. So I just want to say that the show continues to amaze me with each episode seemingly getting better than the last. I mean, I truly enjoyed episode two. And I think what made this episode stand out to me is that the first two episodes, you had Pops giving Junior some life advice. However, this time around, it was Junior who really uh, stepped up to help his dad. So I really enjoyed that aspect of it. Also, uh, Nina is adorable. I just love, yeah, I know uh, she's like, deals with a lot of short jokes from uh, Junior, but she's just adorable. I love Nina. I love Nina. But essentially, before we get into the review, please take a moment to hit the thumbs up button to show you like the video. Uh, hit subscribe, hit the bell icon and select all. That way you do not miss out whenever I post content on the channel. And uh, follow me on social media. All those links are in the description box below. Now, Junior's actually working on a documentary. I believe the first prize is $50,000, which in today's economy is the equivalent of four trips to the grocery store. And if he wins, you know, hey, it's $50,000. But really, the documentary is about an icon, and he wants to do it on his dad. So Nina is like, you know, uh, the sound operator, but then gets, you know, elevated up to like, what is it, like co-producer or something? Because like Pop says, it's a mistake to, um, <laughs> um, you know, work with your wife. They have a fun little dynamic throughout the episode. Like when Junior gets stern with her, she likes that. So it's, again, Nina is just adorable. But the thing is, oh man. AI comes into play. Pops goes to work and he notices that, you know, oh, uh, his assistant's like, oh, well, we know you hate doing promos, so we used your likeness in order to create uh, kind of like a Viagra-like um, advertisement. What's it called? Upsy Pills. And he doesn't like that. So then Dr. E talks with Pops about the changes in AI and how, you know, that's the way the world works nowadays. And he does make a joke about her in terms of the Grand Canyon. And... You know, that's a reference to, uh, you know, something in the southern region of her body. But then he gets called into HR for it. And I have no idea who actually heard it. I mean, who who heard it? Was it was it did Dr. Reed go to HR about that joke or did the assistant? But then again, I believe it was just Reed and pops in the office. But then I'm thinking to myself, didn't Dr. Reed make a couple of jokes in regards to, uh, you know, Pops Wee Wee or just in general, the, um, and look, I'm saying certain words to not get demonetized on this video, but it just, uh, maybe I need to go back and rewatch it. Cause I'm pretty sure Dr. Reed made a couple puns at Pops expense about, you know, what's between his legs. So I'm like, well, if she did go to, if she was the one who went to HR about the Grand Canyon joke, then she should also get reprimanded for making jokes about the nether region of a male because of him being in that Upsy Pills commercial. So I was uh, kind of looking at the lack of a, you know, well, basically the double standard on that. But, you know, HR, you know, is grilling him about it. And it's kind of interesting because um, it felt like a lot was being tackled in this one scene. On the one hand, Pops was in HR for the, you know, crude joke he made. But on the other hand, he's ticked off about the uh, AI situation. And it turns out they own his likeness. So they're basically they're saying that, hey, we're able to do whatever we want because we own your likeness. And I mean, that's such a real thing. I mean, think about how um, last year, the what was it last year? Time flies, but I think it was last year. Uh, the strikes and all were going on in the industry due to, you know, AI uh, potentially taking a bunch of jobs in the future. Like, you know, extras on set, like you're on set like one time to be an extra in like this TV show. But then basically they're saying, oh, we own your likeness. So we could basically digitally, digitally take your image and whatnot and utilize that in future projects. Meaning that, you know, the need for extras will go down a lot because, oh, well, we got the AI versions. We could just use these and put them in random places or random clothing and boom, there we go. And 
from there, Pops pretty much says that, you know, he's gone from the show. He's done because he goes upstairs and um, he basically raps, you know, one final time to his audience and then he just up and leaves. But this is where Junior steps up, basically saying that he doesn't want his dad to quit because he's never known him to quit. And basically, you know, times are changing, you know, from the AI and, you know, um, the way the industry is run. Well, industries are run. And it's kind of funny because Pops calls him out. It's like, you just want to finish this documentary and win this money. He's like, look, don't get me wrong. $50,000 is $50,000. But at the end of the day, you know, your career spans for 25 years and I've never known you to quit. It's like, I'm not quitting, Junior. I'm retiring. And essentially, you know, I'm going to ride off to the sunset and do what I want. But it's interesting because he said one key thing to Dr. E before he left. It's like, yeah, you know what? You came, you took my chair, but guess what? They're going to come for you next. And I think it's interesting that this episode came out like, you know, well, I think it came out yesterday. What's today? Thursday? Wait, it's Wednesday, Wednesday. So this is the day after the election. And then, well, we saw the results, how that turned out. It's like, you know, a woman, you know, is seemingly about to be in charge, but then boom, you know, they get knocked from their seat. So essentially, uh, we got Dr. Reed taking the show over and, um, you know, people call in, but actually it's Junior faking his voice and he wants to um, say that the show sucks without his pops there. And, you know, hey, pops wants to apologize. So apparently, um, you know, Nina and Junior both talked to Reed and pops separately saying that the other was going to apologize. But um, turns out Dr. Reed quits as well because they used her likeness as an AI and some sort of like, you know, uh, female enhancement pills. And she wasn't for that. So they pretty much come to an understanding, which leads to the documentary, you know, coming together. Well, uh, that's why I'm giving this episode a nine out of 10 instead of a 10 out of 10. And if I'm wrong, cause I just finished watching the episode, but I don't believe it was ever stated that their documentary, uh, juniors documentary won. I mean, technically it did win because it did, you know, uh, bring together Reed and Pops to uh, form their own podcast, which honestly, nowadays, if you have the right people behind the microphone of a podcast, you're going to do pretty well for yourself. So um, they pretty much work together to do their own thing. And I, I think that's great because it turns out they have a, you know, a, a you know, um, what's the, a bond over soul music. And Dr. Reed talks about how she had a bad breakup when she heard pops in college and then it turns out she married that same dude and then you know that didn't work out in the long run so to actually see these two bond was great but overall this is a pretty solid episode uh pop's house continues to um or papa's house continues to uh entertain me you know it's just like a bite-sized piece of entertainment uh to help me make it through the day you know get a few laughs but we also get some important morals and uh the relevancy of these topics is great. And like I said, this is only episode three. So I feel that the show will continue to uh, just do well, um, you know, episode by episode. But hey, uh, if you haven't done so already, check out Papa's House, uh, uh, CBS, I believe Tuesday nights. And I believe you can also stream it on Paramount Plus, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, go support black content. So like and subscribe, as I mentioned before, and I'll catch you in the next video.